Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers to July 2024 general monthly reading for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are in need of this information just like you. All right, Sagittarius, let's go through the transits. Today I'm taping on July 2nd. The new moon is going to be on the 5th. It's going to be in Cancer, 14 degrees, 23 minutes. The full moon will be on the 21st, and that's going to be in Capricorn, 29 degrees, 9 minutes. We still have transiting Aries Chiron, and it will be 23 degrees all month long. We also still have North Node, transiting North Node in Aries. It's retrograde. It's going to begin the month at 11 degrees, and by the end of the month, 8 degrees. Oh, also, uh, we also have Venus. So we have the new moon, again, on the 5th in Cancer. We also are going to have and we have Venus right now in Cancer, and it will stay in Cancer through the 11th, so at the same time as the full moon. Okay, let's see. We still have Pisces Saturn, it's retrograde. It will be all month long, and it begins the month at 19 degrees, and by the end of the month, 18 degrees. We also still have Neptune in Pisces. It will stay at 29 degrees, for the whole month. We also, of course, still have Pluto in Aquarius, and it is also retrograde, so it begins the month at one degree, and then by the end of the month, zero degrees Aquarius. Okay, so now, through the 20th, Mars is in Taurus, which means it's going to conjunct, fairly close conjunction, for most of that time with Uranus and Taurus. So that's a big deal. So Uranus is about unexpected surprising changes. Mars is about, it's, it's a passionate planet that is very action oriented. So very expressive in whatever, with, with whatever emotion that Mars is passionate about. And so being conjunct with Uranus, we can expect the unexpected outbursts of expression, action-oriented expression, um, having to do with values, whether it's a personal value, whether it's a world value, a humanitarian value, or humanity's values. Um, it's going to be different. It, depending on, again, whether you're personally, you're the one expressing this, depending on your natal wheel, that's what it's going to depend upon, whether you, any of you are going to be personally, um, individually affected or how you will be individually affected. But definitely the world at large, we will be able to see and expect the unexpected coming out in very um, just action-oriented ways, unexpectedly, quickly. I just saw something. Okay, anyway, let me continue on. We're gonna have to wait and see. So that's through the 20th. And then on the 21st, Mars transitions into Gemini, which then we're gonna have a little bit different energy with Mars in, in Gemini because it's also going to conjunct Jupiter that is in Gemini. And so Jupiter expands whatever the characteristics of whatever planet or uh, etc. that it's next to. And so again, we're going to have an expanded, more over-the-top expressive Mars energy going on the second half of this month. And because it's in Gemini, Gemini is the natural house of the third house, 
which has to do with communication, verbal, nonverbal, action-oriented communication. So maybe new facts coming out, truths coming out unexpectedly, um, or expression of, of passionate expression of different emotions, new emotions uh, surfacing. Again, this is out in the world, in different groups, and then this could be you personally or in your personal environment with others, depending on, again, the natal wheel of you and others around you. Okay, that's going to be interesting. It's going to be a very, very action-oriented, expressive month. Okay, so now, Sagittarius, let's take a look and see for you what's going on. And we're going to take a look at the energy or energies that are surrounding you, that are assisting you with whatever is going to be going on for you this month of July. So this is for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Sagittarius. What energies are assisting? Whoa, that's good. Okay, let me see if there's any more. That was absolutely extreme. So definitely awareness. This is a number 11, the one that just flipped out. Awareness, that is a huge energy for you. So you Sagittarians are becoming aware, consciously aware of something that you don't, aren't already aware of this month. Again, number 11 is a master number. That is definitely a sign of synchronicity for those of you that pay attention to number 11. So if, you're, if you do and you see number 11 or when you do 11, 11 or number 11, uh, it's that sign or synchronicity for you is telling you be aware, aware, pay attention to something that's going on in your environment. And also, uh, if, if it's, maybe it's something that you're thinking about or how you're feeling, whatever that is, you're being drawn or being um, assisted in becoming aware, consciously aware, and you're gonna know why. The energy of awareness supports our capacity to focus our attention on all aspects of a multi-dimensional world so that we create a reality that we truly choose. So awareness, becoming consciously aware, especially if, if and when you see number 11, July. Okay, second up is sixth chakra. The energy of the third eye chakra supports our inner sight and intuitive abilities. So what I'm getting with this awareness is it goes hand in hand with this third with your third eye. So somehow you're getting an expansion in your third eye and uh, an awakening and opening up a, a, a specific awareness of something that you didn't already know about your intuitive abilities and your third eye. So, okay, I'm also getting pay for those of you that you already have that intuitive ability and, and if you haven't, if you don't notice any um, expanded awareness in that area, then to me that's saying that, what, what, just a second, your your intuitive intuitive awareness is is going to be um, if it's not heightened, it's absolutely telling you pay attention, pay attention to your intuition this month, because uh, you are aware of something intuitively, and yourself, your your higher self, the universe, uh, your past over loved ones, however you want to see that is trying to get you to pay attention. And so 
be very aware of what your intuitive guidance and abilities are telling you this month because it's 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 essential for especially this July and for some of you July is what is going to to awaken your third eye for some of you that don't already have these abilities or again this is a general reading so I'm also getting some of you are going to have a new ability or this your third eye is just going to open up more so you're going to have an expanded more broadened broadened um, intuitive ability than you or abilities than you've had before okay so let's continue let's see okay so I'm being drawn to let's get some tarot cards Sag Let's see what else. So it's all about your intuition and becoming aware, awareness about your in, in, intuition, your intuitive abilities this month, Sagittarius. So let's see. Let's get some more details about this for Sagittarius, please. About their intuition and their awareness, heightened awareness. What do they need to know? Okay. Here we go. I'm going to take this one too. Okay. So it's this one first, then this one. Whoops. Whoops. And then the, <laughs> that was already turned over. Okay. So we have Seven of Pentacles, Two of Athenas, which is Two of Swords, and then Two of Pentacles. So I'm getting 22. Uh, is another sign or synchronicity if you uh, pay attention to those. So 22 and 11. Okay, so what I'm getting, Seven of Pentacles with all three of these. So first the Seven of Pentacles. You've been working hard at something. So you've been, you've planted your garden, Okay. And you are now, um, there's, there's going to come, I'm getting twos, so two of Athenas. So you're going to need, this is why your intuitive abilities and, and, be, and being aware, consciously aware and listening to your intuitive abilities is because there is going to be, you're going to need to be able to use your intuition to determine between two different things. So you're going to have a choice or you're going to be um, either whether it's two different opportunities or um, advice from two different people. Um, because this is a general reading is, I'm not sure exactly it's going to be different for all of you, but again, there's something to do with two different, you're going to have a choice between two different things and you're going to have to be able to use your intuition to decide. And that's what I'm getting. But it has to do with something you've been working on, whatever seeds you've planted already. And I don't know if this is work or it's something in the physical, because tangible that you can see, touch, feel, because that's what pentacles are. But again, uh, you're going to have to be able to use your intuition. to make a choice, to make this decision. Let me see if there's anything else. And so I'm also getting, uh, if, if you need to, especially this month, because uh, I know for me, when I, I get my intuitive, intuitiveness, when I'm alone, when I am 
in my own energy, only my own energy, and that and I'm calm and peaceful within myself, that's when my intuition is best. So that's what I'm also seeing for some of you especially. So wherever, especially this month, and especially at the time when you're having to decide between two separate things and make a choice, whatever that is for you, don't, don't do it quickly, I'm getting, and also make sure you take that time for yourself first so that you have time to listen to what your inner guidance, your intuition is saying. That is imperative, Sagittarius is what I'm getting. Is there anything else on this? Some of you might be seeing birds too as messengers to assist you with um, your with this with this decision or um, in some way birds. I'm just seeing there's two birds in this um, these two different cards. Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Athenas, Two of Swords. Okay, so let's see what else comes up here. If I get any more information. Yeah, Ace of Chalice, Ace of Cups. So yes, again, listening to your intuition, you will be glad you did because that's where the true, your heart is in your own intuition, not somebody else's. Again, I got two. So maybe someone is wanting to, uh, maybe you don't, you know, trust your own intuition. Well, absolutely trust your own intuition above anybody else. Even if you go and see somebody, um, even me, even me, trust your own intuition and guidance and what I am saying, because you are, you are, um, I just got, you are the, you're the captain of your own ship. You're, and, and when you are able to connect to your intuition, especially this month, you're going to see, for some of you I'm getting, not all of you, you're going to see, if you listen to yourself, you're going to see that your intuition is right on. And so that's going to give you um, positive affirmations that you is ne are necessary for you to be able to start trusting your intuitive abilities. Again, that's not all of you because some of you are already doing that. You're trusting yourself. So just continue to do that. Eight of chalices. Yes. I'm also getting with this eight of chalices, which is the eight of cups. Um, listen to your intuition. It's guiding you correctly of anything or anyone you're needing to walk away from. Or again, the opportunity, if it's an opportunity that you must uh, decline, whatever that is, trust yourself because you are correct. That, that is what's best for you, not anybody else, but you, Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, the Six of Swords, yes. And that's going to take you, because that will, you by you listening to your own intuition, your own guidance, um, uh, what did I do? Oh, that's taking you into peace. This is the Six of Swords. That's taking you in the correct direction, towards peace, towards harmony, towards um, your balanced self. And, and where you're choosing and desiring to go now in your life right now. Away from chaos, away from um, whatever is not serving you anymore. That's what I'm getting when you listen to your intuition. And again, though I'm getting, take your time. Don't, don't rush into, especially if you need, to, you're the type that, like me, that must be in your own energy to get an accurate, intuitive, um, especially for yourself. 
Okay. Okay, so let me see what else. So yeah, it's all about your intuition. Okay, so let's get let me get one of something wants to come out from here. Okay, so what does Sagittarius need to know? Sagittarius from this deck. What else do they need to know about this staying aware and using their intuition? Okay, this is number 30, a partnership for the new age. It's time to welcome it. So for some of you, it, this has to do with a new partner coming into your life. And maybe you're not sure that that's for you or not. You listen to your own self, your own intuition. But what this card is saying, it's time to welcome it. So... And maybe you're choosing between two different people, some of you. Okay, the next one, number 22. Say again, 22 is coming up again. So that's another, that's a master number. And you might want to check and see if you don't already know what that means. And um, if that's appropriate for you. And here we go again. So these are two partnerships. And this is not a partnership deck. The time for romance has come. See it as an opportunity for a radiant life. So again, this is talking strongly for those of you who are contemplating you're in a new relationship or maybe you're going to meet somebody new this month. Don't negate your feelings. Don't negate your intuition. And definitely, especially, don't allow past experiences to influence you with this new relationship. Especially if you know that you have walked away from an, a relationship in the past, whether it was present or, you know, in the near uh recent past or a long time ago and you've been working through and you have grown since then and you consciously know that don't allow those triggers if you get triggered don't allow any past experiences from the learning lessons that you've already learned to cloud your your judgment of this time now is what i'm getting so especially now, you take your time to listen to your intuition, not from the triggers. Don't allow that to cloud your judgment, your intuition. So that's one. Again, that's just for some of you within the romance department. It's not going to be all of you. Okay, let me get, let me see if there's another card. I feel like there's something you know, else, another card that wants to come out for another group of you. That doesn't have to do with romance. Okay, so let's see. What else? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay. You can't make this up. So this is another 11. So 11, 11, and 22 came out twice. Wow definite sign of synchronicity. Pay attention. Pay attention to your intuition. If you see 11s or 22s, absolutely. The time 
is right, seize the day, and make progress on your soul path. That is the next message for those of you that the romantic message did not pertain to you. Here's another message for others of you why to pay attention to your intuition and stay aware because you you by you paying attention to your intuition you are going to seize that right time and progress on your soul path so something's coming towards you whether and again you could have a choice of something two different two different things so you pay attention and and listen to your intuition take time and time for yourself to be able to listen to your intuition and you will make the right choice and you will be so happy you did because it will you will make the choice that is best for you on your soul path and that also this also goes for for those of you that are romantic too you will make that best choice of this romantic partner that that is best for you on your soul path with a romantic partner or partner um, where a romantic partner is concerned so again those are two different messages beautiful beautiful okay so Sagittarius I'm going to end the reading now and I hope this was helpful and I thank you for allowing me to read for you this month of July 2024. Until next time, bye.